Yeah, so today's topic is secure your big data cloud cluster with SDX. And uh, so as everyone know, like security plays very important role in the cloud cluster and uh, everyone in the organization are moving their uh, data to the cloud. So uh, how important uh, SDX is uh, with big data cloud cluster that we will talk about. So let's move to the uh, presentation. So just quick introduction about myself, uh, I'm Deepak and uh, I'm Apache Ranger committer and uh, software engineer at Cloudera. So today's uh, agenda is uh, we will talk about enterprise data cloud and uh, SDX in uh, enterprise data cloud and uh, what role security plays uh, in SDX. Then uh, what is the contribution of uh, open source projects like uh, Ranger, Atlas, Knox to so this uh, security aspect. And uh, then we will go for a quick demo. So if you talk about uh, some uh, important trends in the cloud technology, so first is cloud experience. Everyone in the market, they want uh, uh, one good cloud, which is uh, on demand and uh, very flexible. Then uh, everyone want their compute and storage to be isolated. So they want their compute separately, their storage separately, and then they want to use Kubernetes-based uh, container uh, in those uh, cloud-based environments. And then uh, everyone want to use uh, streaming and uh, ML uh, or uh, AI based uh, real time data streaming. So uh, we'll talk about uh, enterprise data cloud uh, architecture quickly. So uh, th this uh, ED, uh, EDC help us uh, in both like uh, public cloud uh, uh, compute storage and even in data center compute storage. Whether your uh, your cloud environment is running on uh, uh, on hybrid cloud or multi cloud, or whether it is private cloud or whether it is on prem cluster, uh, it can help us in both. Whether it is provided by any of the cloud provider. So uh, and another uh, layer which we get with ED, EDC is uh, security and governance. So uh, with security and governance, uh, we can uh, get uh, shared. Uh, shared policies and uh, shared governance uh, thing applied uh, through all these workflow. And uh, with this multifunction analytics, we get IoT ingest, uh, IoT based data and that gets uh, processed and ingested uh, and streamed. Uh, and we get uh, data warehouse workload and ML or AI workload too. And these uh, all workload can share uh, uh, common security policies and common uh, governance uh, classification. So uh, uh, one good thing is the this EDC works on open platform like AWS or GCP or Azure and some of the common uh, Apache open source products that uh, we work on like Apache Ranger, Apache Atlas. So one of the cloud era uh, product EDP is based on uh, this enterprise data cloud uh, architecture. So if uh, if we talk about high level cloud deployment. So first and bottom layer is HDFS, uh, S3 or ADLS. This is the storage layer and we can store our data uh, on any of these uh, environments. And uh, the compute cluster that we have, uh, uh, these are data hub cluster, data warehouse cluster, machine learning workspace. So these all uh, compute clusters share the common uh, storage. So that way uh, we can we can uh, spawn any number of compute as per our uses as per the demand. And so let's say uh, some data scientists want to run any Spark job, so they can uh, spawn data engineering uh, compute cluster, and uh, after the users they can simply delete it. So we uh, we we can just uh, pay based on our uses, and then we have a shared data lake. Uh, here we have HMS for meta store management, then Ranger for uh, <coughs> for authorization of the policies, authorization, and we can do authorization through Ranger policies. Then we have Atlas for uh, governance, then we have ID broker too. 
so this id broker or nox is for uh, uh, for authenticating uh, with this uh, cloud deployment then we have uh, uh, we have centralized uh, user base management for uh, using free ip free ip is again an open source and uh, so these all are uh, mostly the, here we have sms ranger atlas these are open source products we can use of uh, them and uh, 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 make uh, real use of in the cloud deployment so uh, this is how it works so we in the environment uh, we have a user directory authentication and uh, certificate services and this is via free api then we have data lake services and here we have cloudera manager ranger atlas hymet i store and id broker so uh, <clears throat> what we do is we create uh, common policies in the ranger and uh, here we have high meta store running it talks with the uh, bottom layer of storage and, uh, and this is uh, metadata about the uh, high uh, any hype table then uh, this data gets shared across the multiple compute clusters and this can be data hub or data warehouses so uh, these uh, virtual private clusters share this uh, common data and uh, download the policies or uh, run the workload on this uh, high page uh, uh, after the query uh, they can get deleted so these are transient uh, uh, compute cluster whereas this uh, data lake uh, services are uh, persistent ones so uh, this is the complete stx uh, architecture how <clears throat> security is uh, uh, available in this stx uh, architecture we will discuss next so these are the basic pillar of the security first is identity access then uh, visibility data protection identity is uh, nothing but the uh, authentication part so how uh, uh, how if uh, if any user comes and authenticate with this uh, cloud system and whether uh, that user is uh, is uh, authorized one or not so that part is taken care by the identity then uh, okay you got authenticated to the system now uh, it comes to authorization then uh, if if any user or application who is trying to access the system whether they are allowed to uh, access the data so let's say uh, any high user uh, try to access some particular table let's say uh, employee table and uh, if if that uh, that user has authenticated successfully using credential or any kerberos authentication now in uh, that user is allowed to access uh, which resource so that part is taken care by uh, access then it comes to visibility and uh, it it do reporting on uh, where data came from and where it is being used so in technical language you can say like uh, it is auditing and le lineage let's say if any particular user access the uh, employee table at uh, uh, time stamp uh, uh, one then those all details are uh, locked in as part of auditing or if you have created any view from any table so how that view is created so that part uh, goes in the lineage then they have a uh, data protection so when data is on rest uh, so uh, ideally it should be encrypted or uh, whenever you are trying to access a data uh, what kind of data visibility you have that part is taken care by data protection so you can have a classification uh, classification based security where you can mask some data or when data is on rest you can encrypt it based on with the keys so that part is taken care uh, in the data protection so first we will talk about in detail on identity and parameter security so this part is taken care by uh, apache nox apache nox uh, build it uh, user by membership in enterprise directory so technically uh, this this take care of authentication so it provides uh, consistent uh, user experience on all the infrastructure then libraries uh, existing uh, directory and protocol we can integrate apache nox with the uh, ldap or ad also then there is consistent authentication with sso across all the interfaces because uh, we, we we can integrate this free ipa so there is single sign on available on uh, uh, for most of the services and there is minimal port exposure because 
this Knox work as a uh, gateway whenever a service or any user is trying to access uh, any other service like Ranger, Atlas, then uh, it, it, it will have to go via Apache Knox. So Apache Knox uh, works as a, a proxy between user and uh, other services or between, uh, between any external services or uh, any other service um, but that is part of the cluster. But, uh, so this uh, Apache Knox uh, enhances uh, perimeter security because uh, because we are not exposing any port um, and uh, we are proxying uh, all other services via Knox. So this reduces our port exposure and uh, helps in uh, web app uh, vulnerability filter. Then we have uh, we, we can use this as API gateway. And this is a uh, this work as centralized access and used for enterprise uh, authentication too. Then we uh, comes to uh, <coughs> access security pillar. So uh, for access security pillar, Apache Ranger helps really well, and uh, it it helps us to defining what user and application can do with the data. So we we maintain one logical copy of the data at a central place and there we define all the uh, policies uh, for for most of the users and uh, this one set of permission uh, is defined for across all the access path so this defined fine grain permission down to column and row level we have dynamic column uh, masking dynamic row filtering and classification based security through apache atlas 2. so this is apache ranger architecture and uh, here we have ranger administrator portal uh, the, uh, through this portal, uh, any administrator can create the policy, and these policies later used by the Ranger plugin for uh, for uh, for uh, authorizing any uh, incoming client call that uh, comes for these plugins. So uh, let's take example of Kafka. If any user is trying to access any topic, then uh, it will uh, talk to Kafka for uh, for uh, accessing the resources. Then Ranger plugin talks to back to Ranger admin portal and download the Ranger policies. So this uh, polling happens uh, every 30 seconds. And uh, after downloading the policy, it, uh, it authorizes the uh, that incoming call uh, using the policy. And uh, for, uh, after uh, authorizing that call, it publishes the audit information to the Ranger audit server. And this audit server uh, audit information goes to Solar and uh, external uh, uh, persistent data storage too. And these uh, users are maintained in the external uh, user AD based uh, server, like it can be LDAP, AD, or pre IPA. So Ranger directly talks to those server and maintain the user information, and those users can be used for configuring the Ranger policies. Then we have a legacy tool and uh, Data governance tool. Here we use Atlas, and, uh, and there are integration API, uh, API, and for that we use Ranger Taxing Server. Ranger Taxing Server sync uh, sync the tags and entity information from the uh, Atlas and uh, push it back to Ranger Administ uh, Portal. Then uh, we can create Ranger policy on these tags also, and uh, these tags keep on downloading uh, on the Ranger plugin side. And uh, whenever a, a client call comes uh, on the plugin side, uh, Ranger plugin <coughs> checks if uh, if user is allowed to access this tag. It, that tag can be associated uh, with any sensitive data. And based on that, uh, we can allow or deny the call. So these are the Apache Ranger capabilities. First is uh, authorization, like uh, centralized. This is centralized platform to define and manage security policies consistently across Hadoop ecosystem. And these are the uh, uh, components supported uh, uh, by Ranger. One good thing is uh, we can uh, <coughs> uh, we can extend that part uh, easily because uh, if uh, let's say tomorrow if new component wants to come and use ranger for the authorization they can easily implement the plugin architecture and uh, support their component for authorization then there is key management uh, part also we store and manage encryption key policies 
and uh, using those key we encrypt the data and again we can create a ranger policies uh, on the key then there is a central audit location for all the access requests uh, we support multiple destination sources like hdfs solar s3 and ad rest gen2 and uh, there is real time uh, visual query interface uh, for audit on the range of ui we can fetch this audit from the solar and see like uh, what happened uh, last time and which user try to access this particular resource so apache ranger follows uh, attribute based access control uh, this is what happens user talks to uh, the uh, authorization service so let's say uh, resources are uh, this is combination of subject action resources and environment so let's say if, if user joe which is the subject and it is authorized to uh, access uh, us customer table and uh, object from eu address so uh, this information will go uh, in the request and uh, authorization service will uh, check this request it will check allow only us employee group to access us customer data uh, from domestic ip address so this all information goes as part of request and, and this is part of uh, policy rules and based on policy rules uh, this uh, access can uh, this request can be allowed or denied then there are uh, dynamic row filtering and column masking uh, services also available with uh, apache ranger uh, for quick example let's say we have a uh, uh, <coughs> employee data or uh, public data available here and uh, here we have country uh, national id and credit card number date of birth so we we can see these uh, two are sensitive data like national id and credit card number are very sen sensitive data and a, so we and we let's say we have three group hr group analyst group and marketing group so we can configure like uh, hr group uh, po hr policy admin can see unmarked but uh, are restricted by row filtering policies to see data for eu person only so we we can uh, filter based on this like uh, location is equals to uh, germany then only uh, in th then this group can access the uh, germany related data and it will not be able to access us uh, related data then here uh, us user uh, who are from analyst group they can see data from us person but uh, credit card and national id ssn are marked so uh, if you can see here uh, this data is marked because uh, there are uh, ranger policy defined ranger masking policy defined and uh, when this uh, analyst group contacted uh, high I will be uh, masking the data with, uh, using the Apache Ranger policies. Then there is a dynamic uh, security policies with Apache Ranger we can configure. There is a classification based uh, access and masking policies. So, uh, so there is a, a high meta store Atlas. Whenever you create any table or any database or uh, anything, any entity on the uh, Hive or HP site, in fact, those entities get uh, synced on the Atlas, and uh, we can create any tag uh, on the Atlas side and associate uh, those tags with the entity, and that information gets synced to the Ranger. And on Ranger, we create uh, policies on these tags. So let's say if you want to uh, tag all the sensitive data with PII tag, then we can create Ranger policy on the PII tag, and uh, and using those classification based policies uh, we can restrict uh, uh, we can restrict user even we can create a masking policy on those classification then we can create time based user uh, 8 am to 5 pm those kind of policies can be created then location based policies also can be created where uh, we will be restrict user based on their uh, based on their address Then Ranger has audit capability. Uh, here uh, we, we can filter audit from Solar, and there is very easy filtering. We can filter uh, audit based on user group, policy ID, resources, services, or even based on the results whether this was allowed or denied. And this audit information goes to HDFS, S3, and uh, ADLS Gen2. 
Now, uh, if we talk about visibility pillar of the security, then uh, there is self-service availability to understand where data is coming from, how it is used, where to find uh, more like it. So this go, and this is all about uh, lineage part. I will uh, explain in my demo. So uh, let's see if you are creating a view from the table. Then uh, on the atlas, you can see uh, this is the lineage. This uh, view was created from the table. Uh, and uh, very good information is available on the Atlas side. Then we have comprehensive auditability on who access what. This access event uh, are from Apache Ranger and uh, uh, we can uh, easily view these uh, auditated information. Then there is a data protection part uh, where we can encrypt uh, data based on the keys and uh, uh, on those keys also we can create uh, Ranger management uh, uh, key management policies and uh, even from the ranger itself uh, we can view the keys we can uh, perform various operation on the keys so this provide uh, data protection for data on the rest uh, even data on the motion i will quickly uh, move to the demo and then we can take the uh, question and answer and uh, i'll just stop sharing my screen and uh, move to the demo So uh, this is one of the CDP cluster, and if you are, uh, we have uh, environment details. One minute, it's, it's loading. So uh, this is the environment, and uh, we have data lake, one data lake, and we have one data hub. So this data lake cluster has uh, Atlas, CM, HBase, Namenode, Ranger. So these are the shared services uh, which will be uh, used across the multiple data hub. Though I have only one data hub present here. So if I go to this CM, and then I have one uh, data hub cluster. I can go to this CM. So this is data lake cluster. If you see these services, these are the shared services. And this uh, data hub cluster is wired with the data lake cluster. And uh, when we talk about uh, identity part, so you can see I'm easily able to navigate through multiple services uh, using one, uh, uh, one uh, single sign-on. So uh, th that is provided by the NOPS. And uh, we, we are not exposing any port or any service detail. This is all uh, uh, knock side of information exposed. So if you go to this uh, data hub cluster or compute cluster, here we can see this is wired with the uh, data lake cluster. So this is the data context uh, we are using. And this is the compute cluster. OK. So let's say if you want to use Hive service, I will download the ranger related information and uh, make use of that. So I can go to uh, ranger from uh, this same uh, data lake cluster. So here we can uh, specify the ranger policy. Uh, I can uh, specify the policy like uh, uh, this is a policy for employee table. OK. So let's say this is demo database. And uh, we have employee table. And I can give permission for all the uh, columns. And here I can 
uh, specify the user. Let's say I want to specify user Sharma, and I can give this permission. Similarly, I can uh, specify the masking policies too. So there are different kind of masking options available, uh, like head or unmask, or so only here. And here <clears throat> we can create any masking policy on the uh, same table. And I can, let's say, if I want to specify credit card number as a uh, masking one, then I can uh, use hash masking here. And uh, uh, which user I want to mask, that I can specify here. So for uh, this user, uh, credit card number will be masked. For other user, they will be able to access uh, complete detail. Then we can create tag based policies also. Uh, here uh, we can de uh, define. So, first I'll go to Atlas and uh, yeah. So, here we can filter out uh, uh, hype table and go to. So let's say if I want to uh, use demo table, so I can create a new classification too, and uh, let's say it is PII. And now I want to tag that uh, PII tag uh, on this uh, table. I can tag uh, this entity with the PII tag. And I can so see the lineage also. So how this uh, this table is created. Uh, this demo table is used to create Apache view. I can go to this Apache view too. So this is the operation perform and I can see this lineage too. And then there is audit functionality too. I can filter the audits based on user. So let's say if I filter based on user at 3022. So I, I'm filtering user based on my username. And uh, it, it recently tried to perform some Atlas operation. So that information I can get here. Uh, this user tries to perform uh, entity read on the Atlas, which was allowed. If any, uh, we can filter out this information based on the result, like whether this operation was denied or allowed. So we can see in the denied operations too. Then there is security zone feature also available in uh, Ranger. Uh, like you can create zones and keep particular resources as part of zone A, some other resources uh, as part of uh, zone B. So yeah, uh, that's it uh, from the demo side. Uh, I think uh, we have only 10 minutes left, so we can take up the questions if uh, any of you have any question. Can Ranger policy be used with query engine example from Spark? 
so i would say yes and no because uh, it can be used uh, by a high route so uh, so there is uh, hms uh, plugin available so uh, that works on high meta store so as far as i know spark uh, can directly uh, contact to high meta store and uh, let's say a user spark is contacting to uh, Uh, to high meta store and uh, trying to fetch employee uh, table related information right so uh, hms policies will be applied there and uh, that uh, uh, based on those hms policies uh, this uh, operation will be allowed or denied now uh, now high policy high hms impala three of them share the same repo which is uh, hadoop sql repo or you can say hive repo so uh, this is uh, you will not feel any difference so let's say if you have created any table from the hive site uh, and um, you have created some policies on, on the on that hive table so even those policies get applied when you are trying to access a table from the spark site i i hope i have answered your question Uh, anyone else yeah so uh, the, uh, for high uh, this has been very uh, old feature uh, high authorization i think since uh, high 2 or high 1 uh, because ranger high plugin is supported for last 3 to 4 years i i am not sure uh, from which version this uh, support was started but all the recent uh, version will have uh, high ranger uh, plugin support so yes uh, most of the uh, from high 2.0 obviously you will find the support but high 1.0 i think there also support is available so uh, if you see any last uh, uh, any 3 or 4 year uh, older version you will find the support there azure uh, adls uh, yes so uh, this has been uh, uh, recently uh, being worked upon so this this we have not uh, uh, we, we, there is only very uh, less information available on this so we have ranger res uh, supported for adls and uh, which is recently uh, gone for ga so uh, yeah uh, i think you will uh, hear a lot about uh, azure adls support uh, in upcoming months uh, in short uh, it, that is supported by a ranger right so using hive with ranger is just a matter of having plugin installed yes so uh, yes so uh, this plugin by default goes with the uh, hive so in hive you can configure the authorizers whether you want to use uh, native hive authorizer or you want to use uh, uh, ranger hive authorizer that you can uh, you can set configuration uh, on the hive side and uh, in the hive configuration you can uh, select the hive repo that you want to use if you want i can quickly show you that part one minute. i'll i'll present my screen again so if you go to this hive service here uh, we have configuration and uh, yes so here you can choose the ranger service and that you want to use and uh, uh Uh, on this node when you go and see the configuration this will be referring to the ranger repo and ranger repo is nothing but uh, this hadoop sql and here we have uh, repo name as uh, cm_hive so this repo name will be configured uh, on the hive side and hive uh, will start downloading the policy every 30 second from the ranger and whenever uh, any uh, any user contact to hive that policy will get evaluated and based on that uh, operation will be uh, allowed or denied
any uh, other question okay hey. thank you so much everyone for joining this and uh, stay home stay safe bye bye